ABC 10's Luke Clary is addressing the violence with a rabbi in Folsom. Luke. Yeah, the videos are hard to watch, but they are also hard to miss because social media was flooded with pictures and videos of the attacks over the weekend. Here's how that rabbi is helping families make sense of it. Which means Torah, Torah study. As another painful chapter of history is written in Israel, people find comfort in their holy scriptures. There's a Jewish dictum that joy breaks all boundaries and overcomes, joy is able to overcome the most difficult and darkest of circumstances. But I gotta be honest, as a human being, it's very difficult to be joyous when you know what's going on. And like most of us, Rabbi Yossi Grossman found out what was going on online. Graphic videos circulating social media for the world to see. We had a number of teens and, and parents this afternoon who were very afraid and very, and, and you know, have family there and, and, and are really concerned. The videos are also popping up on the feeds of young children. What can parents possibly say? It's very difficult. You see pictures of children and seniors being taken as bargaining chips and human shields by terrorists, it's, it's horrific, and, and, and there really isn't anything you could say. Listen to your children, validate their fears and concerns, and um, try to guide them not to look at the uh, videos that are being shown on sh social media. The rabbi says now is a time for families to come together in conversation, in prayer, and healing. We're not going to back down. We're not going to be afraid. We're not going to give in to what the terrorists want from us, which is fear. We're not going to fall for that. And tomorrow's Shabbat House in Granite Bay is going to be hosting a unity gathering for people to do just that. The rabbi says that he expects about a thousand people to attend. Of course, we'll be there. We'll have much more coming up tomorrow at 11, and that event will be tomorrow evening at 5:30. Again, that's in Granite Bay.